Hey, good morning everybody. Today's day 17, I think. I've got pump and burn again. Um, I had somebody message me and ask me, does it get boring because I'm you're, you end up doing the same strength workout over and over until you progress and then you can move on to the longer ones, especially in uh, the month one where I'm doing pump and burn a lot? No, it doesn't. And I'm going to explain why. You can change the weights. You don't want to constantly be doing the same weight. So if you're using 10 pounds on each side every week or every time you do it, it's going to get boring. They always want you to spice it up, so sometimes challenge yourself. Add on an extra 2.5 pounds on each side to push yourself and or lessen the load one day. Take some weight off, which is something I'm going to do today. I've been pushing myself um, using heavier weights, and I added my weights last time I did this, so this time I'm going to lessen the load and take 5 pounds off each side, so I'll be end up taking a total of 10 pounds off just to spice it up, give myself something different, and I'll still be working, it'll still, you know, you'll still see changes if you lessen the load. So, let's go get pump and burn going, and yeah, let's got go. It? Have you got it home? It's important. Well, if you've got it, let's move on. Slow roll. So the knees for two, pull to belly, back to the knees, and stand tall. Let's do it again. Mind your kneecaps, draw it up to your feet on, go slower. Three and one. Three, two, one, good push to the top. Alright, you want to push your heels into the floor. Two, one, and up. I'll be quicker now, on three. Three, two, now push up. That's right. Down, 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 and up. Knees pressing out to stay in line with the middle of your foot. Good job, even it out. On two, one, two, one, two. So, so you know what's funny is I lessened my weight thinking it was, not that it was going to be easier, but more doable, which during the chest track it was because I feel the weights I was using previously were too heavy. No, I was still struggling. Um, I still felt it. So um, I have been getting lots of questions about uh, the bar on the back for the squats or the lunges. And you can go to like Target or Walmart or a sporting store and buy one of those foam things that go over... Um, this part of the barbell that give it some support. Um, but if you don't have one, you can use a towel. I think Beach Body will probably have one soon, I'm hoping. So what I do is I just folded it up this way and then I just put it over my bar and then just let it sit there and that helped um, help the support. So granted I wasn't too heavy on the legs today so it didn't bother me too much like it usually does. But that's just something you can do with the towel um, to help. So, well, I'm excited. Tomorrow is flow. I need a good stretch. It's been like four days and just constant cardio or pump and burn. So I'm ready to stretch it out. So 
Um, if you want to get Les Mills Pump, please cl click the links below and get it. It's a great program. I hope you're enjoying watching these videos and seeing that this is a fantastic program. If you're doing the program, you have questions, or if you're doing another Beachbody program and you have questions, I want to hear from you. Let me know how it's going. Find me facebook.com slash heather.folds um, or follow my journey, uh, heatherfolds.com. I'm posting all my Les Mills videos and you know my thoughts on it on there. So have a great day. I look forward to hearing from you.